Anna Lahisa's Crafter. So today I just bought a file. It's Raya from the movie. Um, I haven't seen it yet, but I have a feeling it got such good reviews that I think it'll be a popular character. So I wanted to show you how to download it from Etsy um, because it's going to be very similar to any other place that you buy it from. So Creative Fabrica, font bundles, um, all of that. So in uh, for Etsy, what you would do is you would go to your profile and go to your purchases and reviews and you get to see all the stuff that I've bought recently. So I do like to buy my files from Etsy. So here is the one that I bought. It's from Chispy Shop. <laughs> all right, so what you wanna do is you wanna download the file and for mine, when I do that, it will automatically, oh, sorry, before, before we get there, it takes you to here. You want to download the file and when I click on down, download, mine um, goes over here and I always just click on the pick list and open or show in folder. I just want to go to the folder and then here it is. So I want to double click on it because it's a zip file and I'm going to pick this one because I don't have a Mac. And let's see what we have. Okay, so interesting. So there's a couple different ones. The one that we want is I this one. I think this is the only one that works for us. Um, let's try it out. So I'm gonna drop it into my desktop and then let's go to Cricut and see. So we're gonna go to upload, upload image, browse. And we gotta find our file. So you gotta remember where you put it. So I dropped it into the desk into my desktop and it's under Raya. Here we go. Cross our fingers, it's a good file. Okay, I think it is. So let's I'm just gonna remove this and upload. <clears throat> so let's keep our fingers crossed that it's a good file. All right, um, okay, it's loading and it looks like it's a lot. Okay, so the first thing that I noticed, um, oh, okay, so it's in a lot of pieces. So there's gonna be some cleaning up that we need to do. Like I'm seeing some shading of her face. Um, I get it. <clears throat> but at the same time, I don't get it. Like, I don't think we need to keep the shading. <sighs> Why? Why does the file have to be like this? <laughs> the other thing that I noticed is the pink. Um, this reminds me a lot of my Selena image. And so I don't like having like something behind it because it's just this piece is really big for one and um it's one color it's a light color i almost just want to get rid of it and only have her so that's that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna grab this and just delete it so we don't have the pink all right so now let's go see so here's her face and then is that it okay so this is her forehead that's being shaded so it's a darker color I'm wondering let's hit the shift button grab this one and her face and weld it Okay, good. So it's one piece. I prefer it like that. Let's go and make it the, uh, the lighter shade that she is. Um, ooh, and this one has a lot of colors too. So what color is she? No, it's not that one. Oh, there, okay. Holy, no, this must be her. There. <laughs> okay, so that's so now we need to do it for all the other pieces. So like this is her face completely. And then do you see how the outline of her lips? I mean, I guess it's okay. Um, all right, so now we know, let's look for her neck. So her neck, this is her neck right here. 
And then the matching piece, hit the shift key and grab this one. And you see how it's both highlighted right there. So let's weld that. And hopefully they, okay, good. It overlaps. So I was worried that the black was, you know, gonna stay, but it didn't. So let's click on this and change the color. Okay, let's do the same thing with her arms. So he, let's look for her arm. Here is this arm. And right below it is this piece, which I think is, hold on, let me scroll, which I think is this piece. So let's hit the shift key and grab this one. Yep and weld so we're welding it to be one thing it's one color let's change the color okay and then the other thing is hold on let me move my face over so i'm not in the way okay <laughs> we'll move this over oh hold on let's undo that for a second interesting it It undid the weld, but it didn't move her back. So we'll just do that. Okay, let's grab her arm again. So here is her arm and hit the shift key, grab this piece and weld. So we're sort of just doing cleanup right now, right? We're making the file a little bit more workable for us and making it easier. You don't want all these pieces. And now I'm, I'm catching the, the yellow as well. The yellow should all be um, one color. I don't think anyone's going to notice the, you know, the shadow and the colors. So we'll need to weld those as well. But I also think that we can weld a couple pieces, like, um, depending on how big the pieces are, but let's say this piece, these, this layer right here, this and this, if we put a little circle right here, these three pieces will connect and be one piece and it'd be so much easier later when we're piecing it all together. But one thing at a time, let's get this other arm over here. So I think it's this piece and then the corresponding piece is probably this one. Yep, and weld that. So funny that it welds to the darker brown, but that's all right, let's see. So we've got that, I think we're all good there okay so let's uh what are these pieces oh these are her her fingers okay so let's select all for now and let's make her i think she could be 40 inches without any seams so let's put in height 40 and then make this Go to 25 so that we don't have to scroll up and down. Okay, let's see how big her face is. Yeah, see, so her face is seven inches by 9.3. So actually she could probably be even bigger than 40 inches and look amazing. But let's just keep it there for now. Let's work with our yellows. So let's go down to where the yellow, oh my gosh, what are all these pieces? Oh, okay. These, so these bandages as well, I we're gonna have to work on this file a lot, but this is a good file because you'll see, if you look at it the way it is right now, e even before, before we did the face welding, just look at how many pieces there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There's about 19 pieces for the yellow. I would probably wanna break that down to maybe three or four pieces if we can and still keep the details. We don't have to lose these lines because I haven't, again, I haven't watched the movie, but I'm assuming her shirt is like, you know, like strips, right? So we don't have to lose those details, but we don't have to have the 100% detail. We can have it back, you know, pull it back a little bit to maybe 97%, but make it so much easier for us to piece this together later. Like these top two pieces if we added a little piece right here so you still have the slits right here but it would become one it's just so much easier to keep track of and same thing with the bandages for her arms and stuff so we will get to that let's go to the yellow and see what we can do here so this is the belt buckle i don't want to deal with the belt buckle okay um yikers okay 
So this piece right here that I've selected, we need to grab this piece here and this piece there. So let's see if we can find it. Um, so I think it's this piece. And then I also think it is this piece. So hit the shift key. So am I grabbing? Okay. And then I, there's one more piece. I think it's this piece. Okay. And let's weld that together. Okay. So that looks pretty good together, right? Um, let's grab this. Let's see, what piece is that? That's probably this piece. And then one of the strips. Um, I wonder if it's, oh, it must be this. Yeah, let's weld that together. And let's see, so, so these two pieces are, so this is okay. We can keep it together. What I would do is, like I said, I would weld a little bit up here, but we will get to that. Let's finish getting rid of all these pieces here. So let's see, what else do we have? So we've got this piece, which we need to weld to this piece. Yep, um, not slice, weld. And then there's a tiny little piece right there, which I think is this one, okay. Then we gotta go find the triangular piece that it goes with this one, okay, and weld. And then we've got two more pieces that we need to weld over here. So let's go look for those pieces. Um, okay, here we go. Um, I think it's this piece and this one, yep, weld. And then we've got just one more piece. This piece and this piece we're gonna weld. Okay, so let's look at, let's go to color sync. And we will just move these pieces up. Okay, so we've got the belt buckle that we can't move up, but that's okay. All right. Um, I mean, I guess we want the belt buckle to be the same color. So let's just move it up. I don't know why this, I don't know what piece that is. Okay, let's go back to layers. <clears throat> All right, let's start welding some of these things to make our lives easier. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a shape. I'm gonna use a circle, because I feel like a little ball is not that noticeable. So um, let's just zoom in a little bit so we can just see a little bit better. I want to, let's start welding some of these together. And actually this one, a square might be better. So here's my square. Unlock it because we wanna make it super thin. Maybe something like this. Okay, so I'm gonna put it, I wanna make it parallel to this and get that in there. Um, maybe move it over a little bit more. Okay, so that looks good to me. So I'm gonna duplicate <clears throat> this square, excuse me, not square, rectangle. Okay, but now I can grab this. Let's see, where are my pieces? Um, shoot. Okay, it's gonna be hard to find those pieces right there. Um, Let's, there. Um, okay, so we've got, and in fact, I almost feel like, let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay. And get all three. Okay, I think that 
that looks good. Okay, but now we gotta find these three pieces right here. Um, no, that's still the top bandages. Okay, so we're still at the top. Okay, it must be these. Okay, there. So hit the shift key, that one and this one, and our rectangle. So scroll up. I think it's this little guy. Okay, and weld. So we went from three pieces of the bandage, and I'm gonna zoom in. Maybe that is still, <clears throat> okay, so that's gonna look pretty good because we still have a lot of detail right here, but it's connected right here. And I'm okay that it, it stuck out a little bit because it no one's gonna notice that. So let's scroll back. I'm gonna put it back so you can see it. So it's gonna look like this. So instead of three pieces, it's one. I think it looks fine. Um, and then, oops, shoot. And then um, let's see how big is that piece. Oh, that piece is tiny. I wanna connect all of it. So this whole bandaged arm instead of it being six separate pieces it's going to be one piece so i'm now going to see if i can grab this piece and stick it right here maybe so that's going to connect to the top these two pieces so let's see if i can find all my pieces <laughs> so here's this one hit the shift key so we're going to grab that and then we're also going to grab those two pieces if I can find it. I think it's this one. Okay, so I grab the right one. Let's scroll down. Um, and I think it's this one. Okay, and we're gonna weld. Okay, so I'll pull this apart so we can see it. So you see it still has the slits of the details, but now it's all connected. Now we just need to connect it to this piece and then we're golden on this one. So on this one, let's put it back to, I know it's kind of a lot of work, but it's better to do it now than to try to, I mean, you we would have so many pieces on this. It wouldn't be, okay. So I think I have my circle and let's grab this piece and then we got to grab that bottom piece, which I think is it's tough. <gasps> this piece, let's hit the shift key and grab that one. Yes. Okay. Weld it. Oh, and it didn't connect, darn it. But it brought it over here, so let's zoom in. So it's not completely touching. So let's just bring in a circle. And you can do a better job. I mean, we if I um, really stuck to the details to make it look like it's all right here, we could do that, but it would just take so long right here. I really want to give you an overview of like how you should be doing it, but this, you know, this can look better. I probably shouldn't have done that circle and should have stuck with the rectangular pieces, but here's what it looks like. And honestly, yeah, this piece, <laughs> not the best, but, um, but you can see what I mean. We want to make this so that it ends up being one piece when you can, um, because this is still only seven inches. So this will be perfect. Instead of it being six pieces, like I said, it's gonna be one and it's gonna be so much easier for you later. So let's look at a few more pieces that we would wanna do that in. Um, these two pieces are showing two long ones. I would, let's bring in a square. So I'm not gonna do all of them because you kind of get a feel for what we're doing, right? But let's zoom in and like do a better job of this one. So on this one, what you can do is let's, oh, 
Oh, so I'm rotating it. When you rotate and if you unlock it, the new, di the new dimensions will pop up. So as you rotate it, I changed this a little bit. So now the height is only 11.288, so it can fit on a um, 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So let's unlock this. Let's make this super skinny. Oh, you know what? This is already connected and it's one piece, so we don't need to do that. Sorry. Okay, so this is good. And we don't want to add anything to it because this is already a very long piece. So let's go and see if we can grab a few more pieces. Um, so this one is eight inches by 1.6. So if we grab, no, wrong piece. So if I grab these two pieces, right, it's 8.2 by 3 inches. So this is a good piece to work with. Let's make it bigger. And in this case, um, you know, maybe a circle would be, oh, you know what? We can do a little rectangle right there. So let's bring in a square. Unlock it. Make it really thin. An easy piece for us to work with. And rotate it. So that looks like, you know, it's flat in there. Let me move this up a little bit. Okay. And then grab these three pieces and weld. So now again, instead of two pieces, you have one nice one. There's a little blip right there, but I think it looks, I think this looks pretty good. Unlike the wristband. <laughs> but let's uh, scroll. Oops. Let's zoom out. Okay, so now you get it. You want to do that with all your yellow pieces. If you don't want to do it, you can cut this all separately. That's fine. Um, it's just a lot of pieces. So let's see what else that we... So you know what to do with the bandages, with the skirt. Okay, sorry. These pieces are moving so in such a weird way. With the skirt, this is up to you whether you want two shades of green or just one shade. If I were to do this, I would make it one shade. So I would go to color sync. And wait for it to pop up. And I would move this over. And in fact, I would probably connect the skirt so that we have less pieces. So these two are connected. This is one piece. So let's bring in a square and I'll do a better job on it. <laughs> and unlike my bandage, I know, I feel like I need to go back and redo that. So unlock, make it thin, because we don't want it to be, we don't want to lose the detail of the, of the pleats. And then you're gonna rotate it to match it a little bit better. And then connect it right there. Okay, so this piece, Hit the shift key, this, uh, I hate that. Let's see if I can grab the skirt. I can't, so let's go to layers. Let's go to where all the greens. So it's scrolling, let's see. Where is our green skirt? Here it is. So is it this one? Okay, and this one, and then scroll up and grab our square, hit the shift key, and weld. So see, that looks kind of like this one, right? There's no reason why these two aren't connected when these two are connected, and then you can connect these two. So the skirt, let's see how big it is right now. Um, yeah, we can connect. I wonder if we, how many we can connect before the skirt gets to be too big. Because we don't want any seams though. Because we don't want to have to connect and then slice. That would be ridiculous. So let's grab this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so that's... I would probably keep it in two, in two pieces then. Because this is already seven, seven inches. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's scroll up and grab the other green skirt. Hit the shift key. Yeah, see that would be too long, right? 13 inches, because then you would have to slice and you don't want to do that. So I would do that with the skirt. I would do the same thing with the belt even. So see how this has two pieces? It's 
this is one and then the insert I might like weld it right here like just a little piece so that it's one piece um, and I would do that here so you would your belt buckle goes from um, what is that six pieces to maybe four or maybe even three pieces maybe attach this with this one this one with this one so you have it in two pieces so I think everything is good oh we still have the hat so the hat let's see how wide the hat is the hat might be a good thing to keep it in two colors because why won't it let me undo the hat let's ungroup it yeah because the, the hat is wide okay so let's ungroup that so we have this piece, which is fine, this piece, which is super long, and I don't think, yeah, this piece we're gonna have to slice at some point. Um, and I would use like a brown glitter cardstock so that you won't see the slice. So this piece is going to be 17 inches by 11. So no matter how you look at it, let's see if we slice it. I still want to slice it in the most thin area that we can. Um, I mean, maybe right here. So let's bring in a square. And make this bigger. Maybe slice it like right there. So grab the two items and slice. So now you have this piece. Oh, it's still so big. Oh, I didn't slice in a good enough area. It's still too big. So let's undo that. <clears throat> Apparently, I need to go up a little bit higher. <laughs> so let's grab these two pieces and slice. Okay, so this piece is fine. It's basically five inches by six inches, right? This piece is 12.9 by six, but if you rotate it and unlock it, yeah, so it's 11.1 .1 by 9.2. Now the thing is, okay, so I'm also gonna rotate this to match this, okay? What you're gonna wanna do is, we're gonna cut this on one piece of cardstock and we're, you see how it's supposed to be right here? You wanna match it so that it's back to where it was, right? And what I mean by that is, because if you've ever noticed, okay, if you follow me on Instagram, I need you to go look at my um, Frida. So Frida, there's a picture, the third picture in my post is, it's just the black background, but with the light shining on it, you can see that glitter cardstock has a grain. There's a direction for the paper. So if you have, let's say you have two sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock, right? If they are stacked, <clears throat> excuse me, if they are stacked one on top of the other and they're facing the same direction in the grain, it will look seamless. You will just see all black. If you turn one facing another way and you take a picture, you will see it will look like it's two different shades of black so you want to make sure that when we cut this that this remains parallel so we're going to put it like this normally i would shift this and try to fit more things on the paper but you don't want to do that because if you do it like this and you keep it together i'm almost tempted to grab these two right now oops hold on let me grab it the right way <clears throat> oh my Okay, so I grabbed these two, right? Oh no, it didn't grab. Okay, it's 11.1 .1 by 9.8. I'm actually going to attach it. I want it to cut like this because I know that when I piece it together, it will look like it's all in one direction of the grain. So it's gonna look seamless. Um, 
as long as you use glitter cardstock. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, oh, okay. These pieces should be fine. There's a separation, so all you need to do is ungroup it. And let's see what the new dimensions are. This is, yeah, three by three and 11 by four. So your hat is going to look pretty good. I might make this all one color. It's up to you if you have the two shades. Okay, so I think we've dealt with everything that's big. So this one looks big, but when we ungroup it, it should be fine. Okay. This one says it's 6.5 by 12.9, right? Again, what I would do with this is I would unlock it, but don't resize it. All we're doing is rotating it. When you rotate it, you'll find that this piece is actually nine inches by 11, which you can cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. And I would imagine the same thing for this one. So I would rotate it, unlock it, nine by 10. So these are pieces, don't slice just because your initial look at it says it's bigger than 11 and a half inches. Make sure that if you rotate it and under the new update with the software, before if you just rotated the file or the image, it would just give you the new dimensions. Now the only way you can see the new dimensions is if you unlock it, but be careful because when you unlock it, you don't want to actually accidentally stretch it out, but you could stretch that out whether it's locked or unlocked. So it's, it's just proceed with caution. All right. So those are the pieces, let's see, the only big piece is this, but I think if you unlock this one as well, so let's go, or ungroup it. Let's see what we have here. So this piece is four, I would, yeah, so these two pieces right here, ugh, there. I would weld it right here and then do something like this. Yeah, see, this is 8.4 by 11 inches, so this will cut perfectly. These little pieces, I would weld together. So I'm not gonna do all of that because that, I think you get that exercise. All right, so now let's look at the face. Um, oops, let's see, these should be fine. Okay, I think all the pieces on here are seamless. I think the only problem we had was the hat, but we addressed the hat. Everything else should be really, really good. Now with her face, what I would like to do is, cause she's gonna be big, she's 40 inches, right? The black background. Um, <clears throat> there's probably gonna be seams right down like where her eyes are and where her mouth is. Um, the eyes, even though there's some white, they're still black. So you don't want a seam running right in the middle of her eyes. What you wanna do then is you wanna take the face and duplicate it and change it to black because this will go, this will go on top, then this layer, and then this one. Now this, the eyes are open, right? It's not an enclosed space. So what we need to do is, let's zoom in so I can show you. And let me move these things out of the way a little bit. Okay. So this one, let's bring in a circle. What we wanna do is, let me show you this. When you click on contour and you hide all, and this is what we want. We want one big solid black circle or oval because <clears throat> just imagine if there was a seam through the mouth. Let me move that arrange then to the front. You wouldn't be able to see that seam because we would have this black piece behind it, right? And then the lips go on top, so her face is gonna look without any blemishes, right? But the eyes and the eyebrows, because they're not an enclosed space, we weren't able to contour it out. So what we wanna do with this circle is basically close up that space like that, okay? And I'm gonna duplicate this circle. I'm gonna do it on both sides of her eyes and we need to do it for the eyebrows as well. So I'm gonna put it right around there. I think that looks good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. This one can move out a little bit more. <clears throat> oh my gosh, my throat, I'm sorry. Um, grab this piece and duplicate it. Let's work on the eyebrows a little bit. I think that looks good. Or maybe out a little bit more there. And let's duplicate that one so then we can put it on the other side. 
like right around there. Okay, so now we're gonna grab all of this. No. Oh my gosh, it's driving me crazy. Okay, hold on. It's picking up too many things. Let me get back over here. Let's move this face over. Oh my gosh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna grab this and weld it. Okay, and then let's pull this one, arrange center to the front. So just imagine if there were seams running down her eyes and her mouth. Now you won't see those seams and then you're gonna put it on top over here, okay? So we've addressed everything. I think the only thing we have left is the background. So let's, I'm just gonna move everything out of the way and let's deal with this big black background, okay? So it is 40 inches by 40 inches pretty much. So we're gonna basically need 16 squares, right? We need four columns, because uh, we have 12 by 12 cardstock, so three columns would only be 36 inches if we were doing 12 inches. So we need four and then 40 on the other way. So we're gonna build our squares. Don't worry, this is actually not that bad. So let's bring in our first square. Now our paper that we're using is 12 by 12, right? Which means we can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half. But I don't like dealing with half inches, so I'm just gonna make my square 11 by 11. So we're losing a little bit, but in this case, it doesn't matter. So what you wanna do is you wanna place your square just somewhere in the corner, it doesn't matter. We're building our squares to cover up this whole image, okay? Um, but what we wanna do is we wanna go to our position feature and we're gonna round to the nearest whole number. So 5.11 becomes five, 1 1.2 becomes one. What we're basically saying is the X coordinate is the one running across. So we're saying go over five units, go down one unit, and here's the beginning of our square. We're gonna duplicate that square <clears throat> And we're gonna put it really close to the first one. Then do the same thing. 16.3 becomes 16, 1.028 becomes one. So you have a set of flush squares. We want this because we want all the squares to be flushed with each other. You don't want any gaps and you don't want them to be sitting on top of each other. You don't want any overlays either, right? So you have two squares that are completely flush with each other. So let's grab both of them. Hit the shift key, grab both of them. They're both highlighted here. We're gonna duplicate. And did it duplicate? Come on, dude. Oh, it did duplicate, shoot. Okay. So hold on, let me delete this. Okay, so here's our, s oh. ay, ay, ay. sorry, I was impatient. Let's grab these two squares. These two squares are flush with each other, right? So let's move them up here and round, so 27 and one. So now we have four squares completely flush with each other, right? So hit the shift key, grab all four and duplicate. And just put it really close to the first one. So five and 12, now we have eight, right? So grab all of them. Hit the shift key and go to your right hand side panel and grab all your squares and duplicate. And this is gonna be our 16 squares that are totally flushed with each other. Okay, so this becomes <clears throat> five and 23. <coughs> oh, sorry, whoa, that was crazy. All right. Grab our image from behind and arrange send to the front. So now we're gonna see where all the seams are gonna be, right? So sometimes you can help where things are cut. In this image, there's so much going on. I don't know if I can make it easy. Like what I don't like is this right here. This seam is gonna run down and it's gonna cut off her hair right here. It's gonna be a small piece and I don't like it. So I could do something like 
this, then this hair is connected. Oh, so this is pretty good. The seam's coming down here. So it's, you know, this piece is then sizable. <clears throat> oh my gosh, excuse me. All right, so I actually like where this is. I think this is pretty good. Yeah, we're not gonna have any small pieces. Um, so it looks like we don't need this square, right? Nothing's in this one. Nothing's in this one. So just, just delete it so that we don't have to deal with it right now. And nothing's in this one. Okay. Um, let's see if there's anything else that we can do. I think that's it. So let's start slicing away our pieces. So let's take this one and slice. And we're just gonna go all the way around and slice out this piece so that we're breaking down a 40 by 40 inch background into pieces that your Cricut can cut with 12 by 12 cardstock. And so what's gonna happen is when you, um, when you cut these pieces on your Cricut, when you pull it off, you have this. So you're gonna piece it all back together, tape it up, put the colored pieces on top, because if you remember our colored pieces, the only one that has a seam is the hat. And we already kind of worked around how we're gonna make that as seamless as possible. So when all the colors sit on top of the black that has the cuts in it, the seams, um, it's gonna hide most of the cuts. So it's gonna look humongous at 40 inches. I mean, she is as big as a four-year-old and um, she's gonna look beautiful, right? Her face is cute, all the colors that you choose. So this will be a really, really, cool cool character all right so one square and the image at a time because you can only slice two things at one time and we're just going to keep going all the way around now as okay so that design space glitch so just undo that i don't know why it does it all the time just go do the next piece. So I did that corner where you couldn't see, but I'm gonna do this corner now. And then what I like to do is because you have, how many pieces do we have here? Nine, 10, 11, 12. We have 12 pieces right here. I wanna keep them in the right order so that I can go to design space and pull up this as I'm piecing it together and know where all the pieces go. You may think it's obvious where the pieces go, but I'm telling you, after doing so many of these, it is definitely helpful, especially in this case, if you do your background um, with just regular black cardstock, it's hard to tell the top from the bottom. Um, like if you flip it over or not. If you use black glitter cardstock, then it's obvious, right? Because you have your glitter cardstock on top, white paper on behind, so then you at least know which, which side is right side up. Um, but it's still, I don't know, I have my issues. <laughs> so let's slice this all the way around and then I'm gonna start pulling the pieces over because I can't get to the middle, right? So let me move all that over. So here's this piece, here's this piece. So you see what we're doing? This piece. And then all of this, your slice results, you can just delete. Okay, so now we can slice this piece. Okay, like did it slice? Okay, here we go. So I'm just making my way around this whole piece. Uh, okay. And let's go back to this one. If you remember, this one had the glitch. Oh, okay, so now we're okay. All right, so let's move these pieces over. Delete 
that. Move this sword over. All right, so now you know what she's gonna look like. This is basically her pieced back together. And I know this looks kind of funky because I didn't line everything up perfectly. But these are all her pieces. And just remember all your other colored pieces will sit on top. If you remember right here, this seam is not even gonna be noticeable because her sword with the shiny silver glitter cardstock that you're gonna use, you're not gonna notice that seam. <clears throat> And if you use black glitter cardstock, which I would recommend for her because her hair is black, so you're gonna have a lot, there's, black plays a bigger theme than it normally does when it's just the, the, the border. So I would do this in glitter cardstock. All right, so I think that is all. So let me know what you think. Um, some announcements, I'm gonna brush this one. so. I'm recording this and I'm gonna post it today, same day, because I wanna say thank you to Wendy Aguilar. My um, Frida back here won the contest for the Do It Yourself Craft Month. So I won a prize, which is cool. But just the fact that it was the paper theme and you know, I consider myself a paper artist, so I'm super excited that I won. Um, but thank you, Wendy, for even like bringing the topic to me. So the way that even came about was she reached out to me and said that she's doing a birthday party theme for free, you know, with Frida. Can I do something with it? And I fell in love with the image and wanted to do it. So that's, I mean, it's just so crazy how things happen. So anyway, the other thing that I want to tell you is if you're not following me on Instagram, please do, because that's where I do most of my announcements. So I have a giveaway this this week starts on Thursday. I'm giving away a Cricut Joy. I have two sponsors that are also sweetening the pot. So you get the Cricut Joy plus this starter kit of HTV. So there's like 30 some sheets of beautiful colors that they put together. So that's super cool. And then a $20 gift card to vinyl outlet so you both get HTV and vinyl that's the grand prize winner and then I have nine runner-up prizes that will also get $20 to the vinyl outlet so it's just so cool so if you follow me on Instagram it's instagram.com slash the useless crafter that post will go out on Thursday so you can enter the contest and the contest is super easy for all of that, usually people have you follow like 15 people. It's just the three of us. Just follow the three accounts and um, and tag people. Every tag that you do gets you an entry into the contest. So I really appreciate it. Um, and let me know what you thought about this video. If I need to slow down, speed up, what did I miss? I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.